Money for the van. It's about what you got at the moment. Can you please drop it up to the house? And where are you going? I just got some stuff to do. Okay. Hey, Jackson. So, what time are the foster people coming? Oh, about lunchtime. They said, Dal. I think they just want to make sure that the joints are clean and that I'm not some sort of axe wheel and crazy. Can't believe that we're going through this. That you're going through this. I'm so sorry, Irene. Hey, love, it's all right. This is the very last hoop that we have to jump through for docks. After that, we're on nearly there. Yeah. If only that were true, huh? Hey. Love, it's okay. Ollie will be back tonight. You'll be able to give him lots of cuddles and kisses. Kane wants us to leave tonight. What? He just thinks that we've had too many close calls here. Um, I'm sorry, Kirsty. I'm confused. I, I thought you didn't want to do this anymore. I, I, I thought you were sick of running. I, I thought you wanted to make this place your home. I do. I really do. But I'm trying to tell him and he won't listen to me. So now that Ollie's better... It... Well, yeah, he, he's better, love, but... God, Savish, you can't be carting him around the countryside so soon. What if he gets sick again? Look, can't you talk to Kane, get him to, to stay for a while? I, mean, I don't want to go anywhere. <sighs> what can I do? Officially Oliver's foster carer. Well, his temporary carer at least. I tell you what, they asked a flippin' lot of questions. I felt like I was on trial. Well, I just had to run for my life from Leah, of all people. What? I just can't take any more of this, Irene. It's ridiculous. It has to stop. She's my friend and I couldn't even say hello to her. What happened? Oh... Uh... I went up to the house to pay the van rental and Vijay was there, so then Leah walked in and I had to bolt out the back. She didn't see you, did she? 
I just can't get over how grown up VJ is. I mean, last time I saw him, he was he was a baby. Now he's like a little boy. No well, doubt, time flies even when you're not there to see him. Just feels like I've just missed so much. And it's got to stop, Irene. I can't do it anymore. Well, what about Kane? You said that he made it pretty clear that he didn't want to stay. I've got to do what's best for Ollie. And for me. I'm not letting him turn me around again. I'm not going anywhere. Call me back when you get this message. Thank you. Why does he have to choose today to stop answering his phone? Oh, God. I feel sick. <clears throat> Kirsty, love, look, don't get me wrong. I want you to stay. You know that. But you do know that hiding is not an option here. If you do decide to stay, you're going to have to go to the cops. Well, Irene, Ollie deserves a real life, real friends, a stable home. So, yeah, if I have to turn myself in for that to happen, then that's what I have to do. And have you thought about what this is going to mean for Kane? Well, he's innocent. He always has been. So, I mean, we'll keep him out of prison. There's got to be a way. Kane doesn't seem to think so. That's why he keeps running. I know, but he loves me. And he loves Ollie, so I will make him listen. I mean, he just has to see the situation the way that I do to be convinced. But we just have to get the police to see that he's innocent. Um, love, look, what, what if you can't get him to listen? What if he... He won't be convinced, and he insists on running. And more to the point, what if he wants to take Oliver with him? Well, he wouldn't do that. Are you sure? Because, love, I don't doubt for a single second that he loves you, but from what I've seen, he is a desperate man. I, I know him, Irene, and he wouldn't take Ollie off me. He loves us way too much. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right, love. I'm so sorry. But... If worse does come to worse, and I do go to jail, you would look after Ollie for me, wouldn't you, Irene? Of course. I mean, you, I mean, you would do yeah, that, you? I would. Of course I would. But look, let's not think about that. You're absolutely right, you know. What we need to do is to focus on the positives mm -hmm. here. Kane is innocent. He always has been. What we need to do is to make sure the flippin' cops get the message. Tell you what, I'll be glad when this day's over. Was that you thirsty? Mate, I thought we agreed to drop it. No, you agreed to drop it. I can't believe you'd be so stupid. Yeah, all right. What do you reckon Aiden would say if he knew you were drinking on the job? I said drop it. If I catch you again, I'm going to ask to be moved. There it is. Broke the lock. You check the back, I'll go in. Well, hang on, hang on. Shouldn't we stick together? I know what I'm doing. Go. Now.